नमस्कार टू ऑल ऑफ माय स्टोरी लवर्स वेलकम बैक इन स्टोरी टाइम चैनल आई एम पल्लवी रीडिंग इंटरेस्टिंग स्टोरीज फॉर यू टुडे आई रीड द बेस्ट ऑफ मुल्ला नसरुद्दीन फ्रॉम दिस बुक आई हैव टेकन लॉस्ट हार्वेस्ट दिस इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग स्टोरी लेट्स गो थ्रू इट Nasru worked with the rich landlord for many years and became popular with the landlord's friends as they watched Nasru grow into a fine young man they spread all the tales of Nasru's witty and intelligent life this made him even more popular after a few years Nasru pass all the taste at the madrasa and finally became a mulla from that day onwards he would be called mulla nasruddin a mulla was one who was qualified to preach the word of god people would often turn to a mulla to help them solve problems that they had in their lives Nasru's wit and intelligence made him the perfect mulla as soon as he became a mulla Nasruddin asked the rich landlord if he could stop working for him he had saved up some money and wanted to try and work on his own the landlord agreed mulla nasruddin thank him for all his help and then left with the money he had saved up mulla nasruddin decided that he would try his hand at planting a field since he and his family did not own a piece of land nasru had to rent a piece of land from one of the kings courtiers the king's courtier was a jealous and miserly man he had heard about nasru and was worried about nasru's growing popularity he was surprised when nasru asked him to rent out a piece of his land he asked nasru so tell me mulla nasruddin Why would a popular person like you want to rent a piece of land? Nasru replied, "I have always wanted to try my hand at farming, sir, and since I have saved up some money, I would like to spend it on planting some vegetables." The jealous courtier realized that this was his opportunity to ruin nasru he said to nasru but what if your crops fell how will you repay me nasru replied sir i am confident that my crop will not fell but if it does i will repay you by becoming your servant for 3 years the courtier was very pleased and said very well You may use a plot of my land to plant your vegetable crop. Nasru asked him, "But what about the rent, sir? How much rent should I pay you?" The courtier had already made an evil plan. He smiled at Nasru and said, "As rent, you can pay me a part of the crop." Nasru was curious, so he asked. Which part of the crop sir the landlord gave nasru an evil smile and said oh just the part that grows above the ground nasru realized that the courtier was trying to ruin him so he made a quick plan he said to the courtier so he made a quick plan He said to the courtier as you wish sir i will give you whatever grows above ground as your rent the courtier was happy that nasru had fallen 
into his trap. After a few months, the jealous courtier received news that Nasru had just harvested his crop. He rushed over to Nasru's house to claim the crop. When he met Nasru, he said, Hey, where is my share of the crop? Remember, I want everything that has grown above the ground. Nasru smiled and said, Don't worry, sir. I have placed everything that grew above the ground in the three bee bags. They are yours. The courier laughed as he rushed towards the bags. To his surprise, he found that the bags were full of green leaves. Without waiting for Nasru to explain, he shouted to his servant, Bring this man to the king. He was cheated me of my rightful rent. The jealous courtier, Nasru, and the servant entered the palace and bow before the king. The courtier said, Majesty, I rented a plot of my land to this man. He wanted to plant vegetables on the plot. As rent, he promised to pay me everything that grows above the ground. But when I went to collect the rent, he gave me three bags of green leaves. You have got to punish him. The king looked at the Nasru and said, Mullah Nasruddin, I have heard a lot about you. How could you cheat this man after making an agreement with him? Nasru smiled and said to the king, Your Majesty, I did honor my promise. I realized that your courtier was trying to trick me, so I planted carrots in the plot of land. So as per our agreement, I have given him all the carrots, leaves that grew above the ground. The king burst out laughing and said to Nasru, You are truly witty and intelligent, Mullah Nasruddin. I would like you to visit my palace more often and help me with any problems I have. He rewarded Nasru with a bag of gold coins. The jealous courtier left the palace in shame. Do you like this Mullah Nasruddin story? Then tell me in the comment box. And thanks for watching guys.